Hello, my name is Brandon um, from Zetagraphics.com. Today we will be learning how to create menu buttons for a website or for your forms or whatever you might run. First thing we want to do is we want to open a document. I'm going to make mine 500 by 200 pixels long. And after we get our document open, let me resize it here. After we get our document open, we'll go ahead and start building some buttons. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new layer. So I'm going to go layer, new, click layer. I'm going to name this layer button stretch. Okay, for this layer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this tool right here, the um, marquee tool. Um, and after taking the rectangular marquee tool and sliding it across the screen, making a selection like that, I'm then going to take my gradient tool. I'm going to select my foreground and background color. Um, it was some kind of orange color here. I always like keeping the colors relatively the same. Um, makes it all look nice. Okay. Oops, sorry. Um, got to put my normal gradient. All right. Now after we have that done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to layer, layer style, give it a little drop shadow, something that it can use after being added onto your menu or whatever. Um, and then I'm going to give it a little stroke. With the stroke, I like to keep my pixel relatively small, so I back it up to one. And I just lower the opacity until it's, until it's nice. Sometimes I uh, take the color and I go down a little bit for it. So let's try right there. All right. Now that we have that good and done, <clears throat> my second thing is um, to add the links. All right. So I'm going to take my text tool and I'm going to make it white. And on the new text layer, I'm going to write um, a few different menu items. Home about new help search these are common common ones you see around um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for a font that suits this um, you can pick whatever font that you want I'm just going to go with something like this and now that we got that done I'm just going to get them all lined up all right, my next <coughs> business order, sorry for the coughing, is to add some effects to the text to make them look nicer. A lot of people like drop shadows. Um, a lot of people like to add uh, just strokes. I'm just going to go with a drop shadow for now. Uh, that's good enough for me. And then for our final step, I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to take my single column marquee tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put it right about here. And I'm going to fill the layer with a paint bucket to white. And then I'm going to put it right beside it. Make a new layer. And I'm going to fill it with black. You can reset your colors to the default colors by pressing D on your keyboard. So you don't have to go and find the color black in your color pick. Okay, after I do that, now I'm going to lower the opacity of my white layer. And then just gently lower the opacity of my darker layer until it looks like it's just a little indent. So something about like there. Now I'm going to press control and click on the button stretches preview window in my layer panel. Um, and I'm going to merge down my layer 2 with my layer 1. Then select inverse and press delete. This will delete the pixel stretch elsewhere. Um, then you can play with your settings if you want. Like if you want to put it on overlay um, which is what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna duplicate the layer and I'm gonna duplicate I'm gonna merge it down and I'm gonna duplicate it again and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull it over to about the middle and I'm just judging this by eye there's no real method I mean you could be precise and put on your rulers and guides and stuff um, from your Windows menu, but 
you really don't need to. It's nothing that has to be real specific if you're gonna cut it up anyway and make them all buttons. All right. So now that we got that done, um, there's one last effect that you can add. You can add it and make it glossy. You don't have to, of course. And what I like to do to do that is I just take my uh, horizon, uh, my horizontal marquee tool and I make it make my gradient white and I do the white to transparent uh, foreground, foreground to transparent gradient and I just stretch it down here you can do it however you want to um, again control click on the button stretch select inverts and there we go now you have a sleek nice beautiful window um, for your buttons and the last thing you can do is you can um, go down and unclick this background to make everything transparent, merge visible, re-click the background, select all, edit, copy, file new, and voila, now it's ready to be cut and added to your um, website. Now you have new buttons. This tutorial was brought to you, of course, by ZetaGraphics.com. Um, I'll write it down for you here so you know where to go if you want more high-quality tutorials. And that's it. So, uh, thank you. Please subscribe, comment, and rate. Um, and again, thank you for viewing my tutorials. Uh, Come back and see us again. All right.